everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Last episode, if you didn't see it, oh my god. We had exactly the same circumstance. We exited, we did a random run, and we random Samson. You know what? We're gonna exit out, we're gonna start, we're gonna random again. We're gonna random Eve. God damn it. Okay, we know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be pure scumbags. I'm gonna walk into this item room. If I like the item, I don't really like the item. We're gonna exit the main menu, we're gonna start, and we're gonna random again. Isaac. Oh, imagine, we randomed Isaac! Whoa, what are the odds? Amazing, alright. So I really wanted to do an Isaac run, let's be honest. I probably should have just like picked him right off the bat, rather than going through this whole song and dance that is probably going to make a uh, certain contingent of people out there angry, like, Northern Lion, you're scamming the game. I'm not scamming the game, I'm just playing as a character that I want to play as, you know, an important part of keeping the series fresh after 579, about to be 579 anyway, episodes, is, you know, playing to your strengths, playing to what you enjoy, and uh, never letting things get too stale, which they definitely would have been if I had to play as Samson again. Now, the last run, I'll admit it was fun. I, I got to use some tactics that uh, were a little bit unusual, and that's always nice. Uh, things didn't work out for us in the end, but they were close to working out. They, in fact, almost like frustratingly close to working out. I ended up beating Isaac, but then dying to the angel fetuses, and then, um, you know, never quite getting back uh, on my subsequent lives, which I did have several of. Never quite getting to the point where I beat Isaac again, which was disappointing. But, you know, we didn't really get a lot of advantages over that co the course of that run uh, until later on in the, the uh, endeavor. So the fact that we even lived long enough to have a chance is pretty surprising. And, of course, we were Samson. Uh, and, you know, bad luck, good luck, doesn't really matter at this point. Let's uh, focus on this new run instead. Obviously, uh, I did go fight the boss right away because we had a D6. So, you know, if we want to reroll what he's going to give us... Oh, such bad damage. If we want to reroll what he's going to give us, uh, we have to, you know, give ourselves the maximum opportunities to do so. We're not going to be able to reroll this cube of meat, though. But I'm okay with it, you know? Getting a cube of meat on the first floor is uh, awesome. The orbital will protect us from damage for the course of the entire game. And, of course, also open up the uh, opportunity for us to pick up a second or third level cube of meat cube of meat as we get a little bit further along. Anyway, cube of meat has become part of our arsenal and we were, we will move down towards our item room uh, where I will absolutely be able to pick up an item and re-roll it if it's not what, uh, you know, would be to my liking. We also get a chest which contains uh, entirely red hearts, not really that exciting. And uh, speed plus damage in the form of growth hormones is a rare drop in my opinion, at least, uh, in my experience. Uh, but it's also a fantastic drop, so we're definitely go definitely gonna go along with that. Apologies for my inability to speak. Not sure what's up. Gotta check my Broca's area or something. Uh, let's check out our... Yeah, let's reroll that. Wow, okay. That worked out really well. You know what, Chad? You win this round. Uh, curse rooms get the uh, go-ahead for me here. We didn't even have to give up any health, and we managed to get a... Uh, Deal with the Devil item. In fact, one of the best Deal with the Devil items. So I'm very excited about that. The fact that we have Temperance is also very exciting. It does open up the possibility of getting a uh, HP upgrade in the form of a Blood Bag at some point. Mostly, though, my god, the luck on getting this Brimstone drop is actually exceptional. I honestly strongly considered picking up Guppy's tail, but decided, you know what, why don't we, uh, or sorry, Guppy's paw, I was like, why don't we risk it a little bit, it could be interesting, we'll see what happens, and, uh, turns out what ended up happening was very positive, you know what, I don't really want the 8 ball either, I'll take the HP upgrade instead, and I'm gonna pop down Temperance, and we're gonna play it as much as we can, uh, to get money that can potentially allow us to go to the shop if we get some more keys, we do have some health that we can recover outside as well, uh, that is more than enough money at this point, uh, hopefully we get the blood bag though, and if we get an HP upgrade, we're in a very good position. Now, it's also worth noting, uh, it's important to, or not important, but it's worth rolling at this health for a little while, just in case we end up coming across a boss trap room where we could pick up an HP upgrade or something like that. Uh, we still have the item room to go to. We still need uh, a key, if possible. Is that going to happen for us? I would love for it to, but uh, we'll see. There's another nickel for us. So we're going to have a staggering amount of money. Is my... Okay, my charge just worked there. I'm getting weird frame dips up and down. I, I complained about the frame rate in the last episode. Restarted my computer, and it, it's smooth most of the time, but sometimes it gets a little wonky. Admittedly. Anyway, I am, uh, you know, indeed abusing the brim snap glitch. I apologize for that if you find that unpalatable. Uh, that being said, or, you know, dispalatable. Is that it? maybe malpalatable? Or, or palatable? I don't know. Uh, we have two bombs, so I will look for our... Uh, that was terrible. I will look for our secret room, mostly because I want a key. I'm actually kind of amazed that we ended up not picking up any existing health. 
Like, or, like there's no red hearts on this level for me to choose from. Uh, we might be able to even bomb our way into the shop if the secret room is there, but of course it's not. That would make things too easy. If I checked up here, I would have been able to bomb my way into the item room instead. Uh, there is a curse room. Curse room can't really do anything for us, though, at this point. Uh, I'm still pleased with this nonetheless, but uh, a little bit disappointed that this floor ended up working out uh, the way that it did. So I guess it's up to us to leave this floor right now. And 35 cents, no bombs, no keys, and very little health, actually, which is the disconcerting part here. Um, really wish that we had paid out with a blood bag, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers, we do have brimstone, and if we could ever get back to full health, lots of, uh, potential for that, I wish I could blow this up, but I can't, so it's time for us to leave, and, uh, Catacombs Part 1 has me feeling a little skittish, because obviously, you know, I don't want to die, we find ourselves in a, in a position where I could die here, fairly simply, are you serious that I need to, like, shoot this thing 50 times with brimstone in order to knock it all the way down, that's counterfeit penny, that gives us more money, now, rusted key, is not really that useful. That being said, it's probably more useful than Counterfeit Penny in this one rare circumstance, because we're already at the point where, you know, money is not an object for us. It, or money is no object for us, I guess is the, the proper way to phrase that. Um, we have no financial risk, basically, for the next few floors, so we're totally okay on that uh, metric, or by that metric. We haven't taken any health yet, so, or any damage yet, so I think we should actually just go uh, fight Peep right now, and if I can abuse the Brin Snap, uh, glitch. I think I have a reasonable uh, estimate. Why is this like my brimstone is sticking weirdly? Uh, it, it's not working the way that I would like. There we go. That's a little bit better. I think it has to do with the frame rate. In all honesty, a little strange. But um, it's going to be a, a trickier fight than I would like. I do I kind of want a deal with the devil. But by the same token, I, I mostly, more importantly, just want some HP to drop at the end of this fight. Like, I don't even want an HP upgrade from this fight necessarily, although I probably wouldn't complain about it. Uh, I mostly just want uh, him to drop a couple of red hearts and make my life easier. So the speed upgrade, we'll see. First things first, our boss. Do I want um, the Book of Belial? It would be interesting. Let's reroll these, see what we get. Yeah, you know, we will take Spirit of the Night. Makes us look like we're closer to full health anyway. Um, I'm not really that interested in taking the speed upgrade, so I would like to get another charge uh, on my D6 before we consider going through with that. And I am feeling very, very strong right now, don't get me wrong. This run is pretty reminiscent of a standard run for me, but by the same token, uh, I am excited with where we are, and maybe we'll have the opportunity to get some success here. Please, Rusted Key, facilitate some key drops for me and make my life uh, a little bit easier. So far, so good on the, uh, the health aspect of things, I suppose. And we're not dead yet, so that's always a positive, especially when I was down to uh, much lower health for a little bit of time there. Good, good, good. Um, we get some bombs and still no keys, and that's the end of this floor. That's so fucking disappointing. The silver lining here is that we may be able, with four bombs, to get to the secret room and access both item room and shop. No. Okay. Um... Because we're kind of up against it here, and I would really love to pick up some more items before the end of this game, I am going to sacrifice half a spirit heart. There's obviously our secret room. There's Guppy's Tail and a Troll Bomb. We'll pick up Guppy... Oh, we could re-roll Guppy's... Ah, we can't re-roll Guppy's Tail, actually. We'll, we'll take Guppy's Tail. I'm okay with it. Bob's Rotten Head we can't do anything with. Uh, I don't want to lose this other spirit heart ability here. I was really hoping we'd get some extra bombs. Uh, oh, you know what? I could have just used this to open that up, but whatever. We're just going to use Bob's Rotten Head uh, to make sure it doesn't show up again. And still no keys. Rusted Key is doing a bang-up job of being a total piece of garbage right now. And you might be saying, Northern Line, this run is so similar to runs that you've had before. You're not wrong, but by the same token, it's a little bit different because this is our second floor in a row where despite having a ton of money and a uh, ton of, uh, well, impetus, we have no way of getting to the item room or the shop. So we've skipped out on, on item rooms and shops for two floors now, which is something that can only... Uh, be bad for us in the long run. Is it going to be bad enough to stop us from having a decent chance to win the game? Potentially. But for now, we're doing okay. And of course, to add insult to injury, we're getting a staggering number of uh, golden chest drops. Obviously, that's a result of picking up Guppy's Tail, an item that I normally am uh, a pretty big fan of when it shows up, but uh, in this situation has not really proved its effectiveness yet because, again, we continue to lack keys. Do we get one here? Nope, we do get a single spirit heart, though. Three golden keys. Oh my god, if we can find a mob trap room with the skeleton key, we are going to profit out of control here. And again, I, I can't complain too hard. We will check and see what this pill is. Health up. That's fantastic. I can't complain too hard because, you know, things like that keep happening. I keep getting exceptional luck. I keep, uh, I picked up brimstone without losing any, uh, health to make it happen. 
beyond that, uh, also picked up Spirit of the Night, which, you know, did cost me health, but is a great item nonetheless. Let's get a little crazy, and uh, obviously we'll try to win our HP upgrade here, which would also convey a speed upgrade. We do have a key now. I'm going to save that for the shop, in all likelihood, because we do have uh, 38 cents. But, you know, actually, we'll probably use the key on whatever uh, key-worthy room we end up finding first. Because we need to make sure that we're using our uh, D6 as effectively as possible as well. So if we can find a room with something in it sooner rather than later, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much, Kiwi, for making that happen. Uh, that is not Skeleton Key, it's Poison Touch, but I would be remiss if I didn't take Poison Touch. It's a fantastic item, especially if I could uh, ever swing getting some permanent Polaroid invincibility for myself. So, so far so good. Uh, I think I have 100% or at least near 100% effectiveness uh, when using the Brim Snap glitch. So I'm hoping that uh, that kind of continues here. Still have one key. I was really hoping we get Skeleton Key there. That's okay, though. It's a it's a common drop from Mob Trap Rooms. Uh, well, it's an uncommon drop, but if you're going to get a an item on a pedestal, it's oftentimes Skeleton Key. Uh, we'll leave through here, and you know what? We will fight our boss right away just because we're here and we've got to make good use of this D6. It's going to be Fistula. Disappointing because I won't get a second cube of meat quickly. That being said, uh, this could not be an easier boss fight, essentially. Uh, because A, Grim Snap Glitch, B, we can just hang out over rocks, and uh, C, we're just going to destroy every enemy in one regardless. So, range upgrade, we do not want. We're fighting Krampus. I'm pleased with this, because we can reroll Lump of Coal. Uh, and possibly pick up a another deal with the devil item free of charge. Lump of Coal is fine, but I don't know that it conveys a damage increase with Brimstone. If it does, uh, I would rather not reroll it. That being said, it, it could potentially pay out with a Mom's Knife or something that's even more damaging than our current Brimstone situation. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see anyway. I, I don't, I, I've come to respect Lump of Coal more than I used to. That being said, uh, I still can't resist the temptation to possibly pick up something even better. Free of charge and another key. Fantastic. So that's, uh, the nail. You know what? We will roll with the nail. We might need that as we get later and later into the game. Uh, which means we will take this range upgrade, which is disappointing, but let's not worry about getting all these rerolls. Oh my god, I didn't even realize we had the shop this whole time?! That was like the one of the first items we came across. I should have used my D6 there way earlier. Now watch me get like a blue candle or something in there. Now I'm very tempted to pop open these chests because they could possibly give me a key. That just gave me an HP upgrade, so I'm okay with that. The temptation worked out. Uh, let us go to this item room, and we'll be able to buy a key in here. We'll also buy a spirit heart, and you know what? We will buy the steam sale as well. I think it's early enough to make this effective for us. Uh, and now we'll open the item room, because the item room can still pay out with something amazing. And I'm, I'm very tempted to open these golden chests because of the possibilities of key drops, but uh, well, let's not get too cocky yet. Really hoping for something uh, in our next shop, or a shop in the future, that will help us augment the amount of time so we can use the nail. Obviously, uh, not the greatest spacebar item in the game, but it's up there. It's definitely up there. I, I consider it among my, my top 10 items in the game overall. Matchstick, more bomb drops, probably beats Rusted Key, which has been really bad for us, uh, in my estimation. Anyway, Chocolate Milk Plus Brimstone, not terrible, I think, but I'm not going to pick it up because it makes things more complicated, so I'm just going to ignore it, even though that might not be uh, the best course of action for me. So there is a blood bank up here in the arcade, so we're going to come up here and play it a few more times. The money's useful, but, you know, the HP upgrade is even better, so... We picked up a lot of health as a result of that. And you know what? Since we have the Steam Sale, why don't I play these guys just to see if we can earn a key. Uh, and if I can, we'll open some golden chests, maybe. Uh, we'll play until we get down to uh, 10 cents, because I can uh, afford to buy an item at 7 now. So, uh, just keep doing this. Hopefully we get something soon. We don't have a luck upgrade, so uh, it might be unlikely that we get something paid out with. But hey, here we are. It's been so long since I've earned the dollar from the slot machine. It, it hasn't happened in... Uh, probably like 200 videos. Oh, more money. All right, we get one more play then. And here we get uh, another... Yeah, we'll just leave. Fine by me. Ten cents just in case we want to buy a key in the next shop. Oh, I guess we need a key to get to the shop in the first place, but whatever. I'm feeling pretty good about this whole situation. Now that we have so much health, I, man, we amassed a lot on the last few floors. I'm just going to take a sip of my water as we go through what is, uh, in all likelihood, a pink glitch or an XL floor if the game crashes. That sucks. Right now it is not responding, uh, but oh, yeah, there we go, it's just a pink glitch. Uh, Necropolis 1 and Curse of Darkness. Annoying, uh, but I'm strong enough right now that, you know, annoying is basically the extent of it. Pain in the ass, but we'll get over it pretty quickly. 
Uh, especially if we end up living here, which it seems pretty likely that we will be doing. More keys would be awesome. There's gonna be people, inevitably, who are like, Why did you give up? Rusted key? You needed keys, you fool! Yes, but rusted key is such a bad trinket. I would rather have a, you know, matchstick, which gives us a fairly decent chance of increased bombs, than rusted key, which, in my experience, and, you know, anecdotally talking with other people, largely considered, uh, a uh, total fucking waste. Okay, so that was a, a scary situation, but it worked out for us. Hang out over this gap here and just simplify the room for ourselves, and eventually we should be able to uh, leave here. Anytime you don't see brim snap or <laughs> sorry, uh, brimstone fire, and you uh, see enemies dying, that's because I'm abusing the glitch, I think, which is fine because we're breaking Isaac here. Now, uh, no keys still, so that's uh, irrelevant. Clubs, I finally internalized. Spades is keys, clubs is bombs. So, uh, hopefully we will be able to pick up a two of spades card at some point, but for now, two of clubs will just give us four bombs, so we might as well wait, you know? In conjunction with, uh, uh, in conjunction with our, oh, that was terrible. I totally forgot, and, oh, there we go. In conjunction with matchstick, it might actually end up paying out substantially more than the existing doubling that it would do for us. Uh, wow, compass in the mob trap room, that is fantastic. We'll just clear out some space for ourselves and get the fuck out of there. And again, you know, we've got to abuse every advantage that we have right now. We're substantially stronger than the vast majority of, of rooms that we're run running up against, so it's in our best interest to always go to these mob trap rooms, as long as they have something we want. Uh, and it's also in our best interest to explore as much as possible. Oh my, this is what I mean! Thank god we didn't pop two of clubs earlier. Now we can probably get enough bombs if we let it go for a little longer that it will carry us through the rest of the game. Sadly, still no keys. Okay, bad damage on my part. Um, my defense kind of sprung that on me. There's our boss room, and we will, uh, fight the boss straight away. It's not a foregone conclusion that we're gonna win yet, but it is looking very good. Please drop, like, a skeleton key or something. I don't even think it's possible for a boss to drop a skeleton key. Uh, but, oh my god, we, we basically could not be fighting an easier boss right now. So, we'll just keep our distance and, uh, pop this off. And if we manage to get more deals with the devil, very much worth taking. Uh, because it puts us in a position where we're going to be more likely to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Fantastic for business, uh, because, obviously, uh, we have Poison Touch, so we could you know, definitely abuse that on later bosses. And one more hit should do this. Actually took a little bit longer than I expected. Cat of Nine Tails! Weird. Probably shouldn't have picked it up, but it does ensure that it won't show up later. So that's a, a fairly bad item for us to be taking. Whatever, though. Um, we will now make our way over to the right side of the map, where we explored absolutely nothing. Uh, was it up here that we started? Okay, so we haven't been here yet. I don't, wow, I did not think that that was going to work. I thought it was going to take damage. It's okay, though. Um, nail is charged again. Might as well make sure to pop that as much as possible. Just trying to hang out over here because uh, I don't want to uh, give these blue spikes any reason to get me or any chance to get me. Thought, oh, I was going to say I thought I was going to get hit there, but I was, turns out, overly cocky even in my... Uh, Seeming humbleness there. It's my seeming modesty, I guess. Uh, because I ended up getting hit soon after thinking it. So, can't do anything here. Can't do anything here. Maybe there's a secret room here that would save us a lot of trouble. Nope. So it's looking like, again, uh, no item rooms, no shops. Not sure. Have we already been this way? There's our item room. These seem to be cleared out. All right, so I guess we leave here. Disappointingly, again, with no shop and uh, no item room. So as good as things have gone for me... And, you know, they have gone very good. Five health, five spirit hearts, the nail, brimstone, damage increases, speed increases, etc., etc. Blood bag paid out for us, or blood bank paid out for us, I guess, more accurately. We haven't, we've missed three item rooms and three shops. That's, you know, more than a fair trade. So, we, we really need to get some keys at some point. Um, obviously, we're not going to fight the boss right away. I'm just going this way kind of to open things up for us uh, so we know what the situation looks like in the future. Now we'll run. Okay, that was a little scary. It's all good, though. No key drop still. What good is the ability to fly if I can't pick up items that drop randomly in the center of these rooms that are otherwise inaccessible? We do have uh, an arcade, and I will play the bejesus out of it if I can snag uh, an HP upgrade. Even better. Golden chest. Uh, we will pop the nail on this room. Might as well pop the nail on like a when a room's just starting, as opposed to when a room's just ending, so we can get the damage increase. Now let's just wait for these guys to be on the same line. I really thought we could kill both very easily there. My mistake. A key. A pill. The pill is bombs are key. The pill is telepills, which took us to the item room. Well, that technically saves us a key. Mr. Boom was in there. Mr. Boom's not a good item. 
for us, especially when we already have the nail. So I think we move onwards. Now if we get a key, we can use it on the shop, which is a smart idea because anything like nun volt, nine, or <laughs> nun volt, uh, anything like um, nine volt nuns have a battery gives us a substantially increased chance of success by virtue of making the nail more effective. So we will open this up just in case there's a key. There's not because, of course, that would make things far too easy for us for the rest of the game. That being said, you know, as much as I'm complaining, and I do think I have grounds to, you know, kind of righteously complain here, because the key situation has been so bad, um, even with Rusted Key, uh, I, it's important to keep it in perspective that this is still a very good run, and in fact, a run of above average quality, I would say, simply due to the fact that we've gotten so lucky with our curse room. So, you know, it, if you can't get lucky in one area, hopefully you can get lucky in another area, and that is indeed how it ended up working out for us. Uh, so we're going to play the bejesus out of this blood bank. Again, having the nuns have it would make this a no-brainer, but uh, instead we're going to have to do things the old-fashioned way here. Please pay out. You could still play, pay out with an IV bag. One of the things I learned from uh, Namastack, actually, you might have seen our Namastack video uh, that we did for a challenge run a little while ago, but uh, one of the things I learned from him is that if a blood bag, or if, an, if a blood bank pays out with a IV bag, then every other blood bank in the remainder of the game has to pay out with a blood bag at some point. So uh, that's important to note if we end up actually getting an IV bag at some point. Holy shit, we actually got a key. At this point, I'm just trying to earn health to maybe play the blood bank more often, but uh, we can ignore that kind of for now. We're definitely going to want to go to the shop, and after we go to the shop, maybe we start popping open uh, all sorts of golden chests by buying a key. What is this pill? Do we know? No, we don't. Let's take it. Health down. Not an enormous deal. Kind of hurts, though. It stings a little bit. Ended up losing that one. That's good. Now let's go play this a couple of times. Might be here for a while, but not surprise me. I fully expected that to not pay out, which is not unreasonable for him. Uh, we can try to earn our HP back, uh, basically, at this point. And we could probably do this ad infinitum, in all honesty. Or at the very least, for a long time. But let's just ignore it for now. Or well, let's just do it for a while for now. Skatol will cause him to not pay out again. Oh, good. So we can keep him alive to hopefully give us some more bombs or keys. More bombs also still really effective because obviously I'm still holding these two of clubs cards. So every bomb that we get is effectively two bombs. Uh, provided I use it accordingly. A little bit worried about the situation still. Uh, and we're taking a long time here. Smart idea though? I think so. If we can get up to 15 bombs, I'll probably just pop this uh, two of clubs. Ah, you know, 30's not that... It's not enough to feel 100% confident. Flies all the damn time. So once we get down to 15 cents, just in case I want to buy a lot of uh, non-items from the shop, you know, like pills, spirit hearts, etc., I should probably stop at 15 cents just to ensure uh, that I have enough money to do that if I so choose. That is another spirit heart, which is awesome. More keys would be amazing. Please? No? Okay, here's the thing. We're at, okay, we're at 15 cents, so I'm going to stop now. Uh, let's kill this with the orbital. Smart guy. Oh, I played once more by accident. Okay. We're gonna pop two of clubs, then we're gonna use one bomb to blow each of these things up in the hopes that we get more keys. Well, we got a little bit more health. We'll play this one more time. And we got one more cent out of that, so we definitely want to get, uh, our health back. That's a no-brainer, but, uh, by the same token, I feel reasonably safe right now. Just don't waste this key. If we end up getting greed, at least we gave it the old college try. Keys are still at such a premium, uh, which is a shame because we have so many golden chests. Okay, we have a lot of items that are purchasable here uh, and, you know, worth something. We're definitely going to buy the key. That's a free golden chest. We're definitely going to buy the mom's coin purse for the potential that these are good. Tears up. Two tears ups is fantastic. That is well worth the seven cents already. We don't know what this one does, and this one is a health down. So we'll take this last remaining one. Worst case scenario, it can't be a health down. It's a speed up. Sure, fine. Uh, we'll take our other spirit heart, and we will buy this tarot card. It's the magician. We'll pop it right away because I hate it. And uh, we're going to go back and play the blood bank a couple more times on the way. I am going to crack open one of these golden chests just to see. Maybe we can start uh, getting a ton of keys. That's more bombs and another key. Uh, if we can start a chain reaction of getting more keys than we spend, I'm a happy man. That is our mob trap room with the golden chest inside. Is it worth it? Maybe. It could pay out with an item. And that's IV bag. Uh which is shitty, but I'll pick it up, because we got it. Anyway, uh, it would give us, uh, you know what? Uh, we don't have Polaroid yet, never mind. Uh, let's see what we got in here. It's a golden chest. We pop it open. We get some money and a bomb, and we just leave. Oh, the golden chest must have dropped after we beat the mob trap room. Gotcha. Okay, so we 
you know, exploited every possible advantage that I could see right there. Um, our blood bag has exploded, so I, it's not like I could even give this remaining health to him. Uh, and if we find more golden chests, well, we do have more keys. Might want to save keys at this point to, to hopefully go to the chest later, but um, let's not get ahead of ourselves too much. We're, we're not even close to being there yet. Get our health back so I can hopefully trade it on uh, Deal with the Devil. Hey, there you go. An extra damage increase. Well uh, spent. That, that was a good use of a key there. Not a waste at all. So one more hit should kill Chubb here. Damage super strong. Very pleased about that. Probably should have saved the nail for this next room. Uh, or the room after, I suppose, now that I've looked at this next room. Or the room after that. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm pleased with where we're at. We're getting a lot of spirit hearts. I think we have a very good chance of success overall on this run. Despite the fact that we've missed uh, a ton of uh, possible items. Which was, you know, possibly my fault to a certain extent. If I'd managed to hold on to the rusted key, we might have been able to get more keys and thus uh, improve our chances of going to those item rooms. But uh, rusted key is so bad. Matchstick ended up paying out pretty nicely. We have 28 matches now. Or t sorry, 28 bombs now. Which uh, is more than we probably could have hoped for in other circumstances. We probably couldn't have hoped for 28 keys uh, by way of rusted key. Anyway, uh, again, I'm getting like weird brimstone issues here, which is why I uh, did not really want to go with chocolate milk, because chocolate milk just tends to compound those. And even without using the glitch, our brimstone damage is really, really strong by virtue of the fact that um, we have uh, a couple of damage increases. I can't remember if we got Little Rock. I don't think we did, or Small Rock. I'm not trying to call out Arkansas. Uh, I do think... Or I know for sure we got Steven, though, which is excellent. That's free damage right there. And we'll just save up until another crowd control opportunity presents itself. A couple more shots should make this super easy. One more hit somewhere. That'll do it. Okay, beautiful. Pageant Boy, just in time to be completely worthless. Uh gonna have 18 cents and the Polaroid hopefully we get a deal with the devil or two deals with the devil on the next floor now remember we have compass we do not have map but we have compass so uh, it should be very easy for me to find the boss room relative to your standard run although to be honest with you I usually do have the compass on a standard run it's a fairly frequent drop weird glitches with Steven or sorry Gemini here this could still be the right way to go even though the map does appear to take a detour that's another spirit heart for us, very valuable, and another key, which will of course be extremely important. If not now, then later. Now, it's gonna be cool here, another easy room. And, you know, why not use the golden chest right away? Or we use the key to open the golden chest right away. We don't really need the health, but we'll take the health, it's fine. Uh, it's a dead end, so this was definitely not the right way to go. But. We ended up uh, gaining a little bit on our trip here, including a ton of money, and by using the nail in this room, there's a lot of uh, potential tinted rocks that ended up not paying out, but, you know, shit happens. So, up and to the right now, I might end up going to this mob trap room, we'll see. If it ends up having a reasonable chance of paying out, I don't see why not. I feel very confident about our chances now, and I'm a happy man with respect to the damage that we're doing. We don't know what this does, though. Bombs are key. Oh, shit, yeah! Okay, so it's bad. Because now we have zero bombs. Uh, but it's great, because we have 29 keys. So now we can open every golden chest. And you know, golden chests have a fairly obvious uh, tendency to pay out with bombs. So I'm pleased with that. If only, if only we'd gotten this a little earlier, I'd, I'd feel happier. But now here's the thing. We're not going to take this uh, eternal heart yet. You might be saying, well, obviously you should take it. Because you, know, you have so many spirit hearts, you're never going to lose it. Yes! But if we get two deals with the devil, I can get permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is probably more valuable than having uh, these extra hearts uh, in, in the long run anyway, especially because I have uh, the poison touch. So we're just going to play our cards a little close to our chest right now. Safety cap, interesting item that I can't do anything with. I think it causes more pills to drop. Not sure if it makes the pills any better. It doesn't really matter though. So... We are going to get another nail charge and another red heart, which takes us back to full health. We'll use our nail charge on this room. There's going to be a couple of rocks that we can break open and see if they contain spirit hearts. No such luck. And here we have a golden chest. Absolutely. Ten extra bombs. Crisis averted. And uh, we have the Empress card. Gives us Horror Babylon for a room. Is it crazy good? Yeah. It kind of is. Uh, the longer we can save this, the better it'll be for us. And this is... Um, it's, it's amazing how well we're doing given how bad our conversion rate on those item rooms were. 
was, I guess. Keep in mind that, um, you know, even on the few item rooms we went to, we didn't necessarily get great items. I mean, on one of them, we got Mr. Boom, which I can't even use or couldn't even use. Um, you know, it didn't necessarily work out fantastically, but uh, I did, one of them, I got chocolate milk, and I, I didn't even take chocolate milk because I thought it would be more harm than it's worth. Interesting situation, at the very least. Surprising that we find ourselves uh, doing this with as much ease as we uh, are right now. So we're definitely going to go pick up that golden... Sorry, pick up that eternal heart. Ah, that was bad damage. Pick up that eternal heart if uh, we don't get the deals with the devil. If we do, we just want to make sure we don't hamstring ourselves too much, even though we're probably still in a very good position. Okay, so our boss fight. Who is it? Blast assist. Didn't even appear for a second there. I was a little concerned. And the damage that we do is going to start out being very small. But as time goes on, it is going to be uh, fantastic for us. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that, but he might break up now. Uh, because he is fairly low HP. And now we can really start doing damage to him. We hit both of these bodily segments at once. Wow, I didn't even see us doing damage there, but it's broken apart. Uh, yeah, that is basically the end of this boss fight. These guys are going to take a staggering amount of damage each. Take like one-fifth of his health in each one of these that gets killed. And the final remaining one. Good news. Uh, Squeezy. Absolutely going to pick that up. Tears upgrade, mostly the spirit hearts, though. And our deals with the devil. Book of Sin, Razor Blade. I don't want either, and it's not really worth taking either, so... Uh, we're, we're not gonna, we're gonna give up the dream of permanent Polaroid invincibility, uh, but instead we are going to pick up this eternal heart, so all is not lost. And, oh, thought that was gonna be parallel to the door. That's good for us! Uh, we're gonna be able to come down here and on the left, go down to the next floor with the compass in hand. And I really feel that this run is kind of destined for greatness here. We can't, oh yeah, we could try to get permanent Polaroid invincibility again from that arcade. Uh, let's just try to find our way to the boss room, though. No need to fiddle around too much with uh, intricacies at this point. Why be cute about it? Let's just brute force our way to the victory. That, now, flat penny would have been amazing for us earlier in the game. Uh, I popped the nail here just so we didn't have to waste any bombs to get to this chest. Uh, cost us, like, maximum damage for one room, which actually would have been really nice on this room. Uh, but we can still clear through this room without any real problems, I would have to guess. He didn't even create anything when he uh, did open his mouth there. Weird. Okay. And another key for us. We are now at 30. And of course, now we don't get any golden chests. Before, we get golden chests every fucking room when we have zero keys. But now that we have keys, it doesn't matter. Speed up. I'm already fast, but I'll take it. Just to make me a little bit faster. Might damage me. That's a bombs are key. Yeah. You know what? 30 bombs, 13 keys is better than uh, 13 bombs, 30 keys. I hope that made any sense at all. Those two numbers sound pretty similar. Kind of ruined my brain to say it. And this is going to be our boss room, so we take out the Diglets first, and then very quickly do this. Mom's heart should be uh, an absolute breeze for us, again, especially with 30 bombs. Uh, don't do that, and you'll be killed. Okay. Good, good, good. So our boss fight. Should be easy enough to kill the lasers without getting hit ourselves. It's going to take two brimstone shots, which is more than I expected, obviously. But now we get the, the fun part. So we drop the bombs in. We do the Grim Snap whenever possible. It's not doing quite as much damage as I would like, necessarily. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. We should be dead very soon. You can I didn't know that Monster could clear the entire map, actually. That was really bad damage of me to take there. Uh, and we can't get an item from the Mom's Heart fight. We don't get a deal with the Devil, either. He actually summoned, or she actually summoned, another round of lasers, which just seems, like, overly cocky to me, considering... Uh, that usually means, like, hey, you're not going fast enough, asshole. Uh, well, I'm trying here. I'd say it's going pretty well so far. Please don't summon Chubb. He's the most annoying. Ah, and of course, there he is. I guess he isn't that bad for us in this situation because, you know, we've killed him so many times already. Mom might accidentally kill him. Well, more or less. We just, we basically just loaded the gun. Uh, he was already more or less dead. 21 bombs? I should probably save them, I guess. It, I'm not doing as much damage as I would like, uh, which probably should be pretty obvious, but, um, I'm doing enough damage. That's all that matters. And it should be interesting to see how we do on the Cathedral. I think it'll go very well for us. Every time we get hit, if I uh, am smart enough to use Poison Touch, I should be able to get in, and get, get in and get out without getting hit. This is what I was concerned about. Is it's like this, this floor looked too good to be true. I was like, oh, the boss room is right there. Uh, it actually appears that we'll go down on this one. That came out a little wrong. We will have the Empress card as well. Uh, I would ideally love to save it for the new baby boss fight. My strategy is is polarizing. I used to think, or it's flipping the poles. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Apologies if you're from Poland, or the North Pole for that matter. I don't discriminate against poles, or the South Pole. Or they actually, if you're from the South Pole, go fuck yourself. Um, 
Actually, if you're from the South Pole, send me a postcard. Because there's only like 60 people who live there and they're all scientists. So I appreciate you know, watching the videos. I'm sure the CPM on ads in Antarctica is huge, too. Um, definitely open this golden chest. Wow, okay. So that gives us uh, the ability to fly again, but mostly the eternal heart, I guess, is the, the value there. Uh, does that give us extra damage as well? Or are these Gish just really weak? I think the Gish are just really weak. So we've got a couple of champion angel fetuses. Uh, good. We will pick up our key and move onwards and then upwards. And I'm really scared about trying to dodge these guys as they come through at the same time. I can't believe I only hit one of them there. Hey, that worked really well. How about this? Tammy's head. We'll pick it up and we'll do one of these bad boys and then put it back down. Uh, might as well pop this open. You never know. Two more spirit hearts. Well worth it. And then we'll go fight our boss. And I'm thinking that things are looking pretty positive. Oh, I really thought we'd get the champion there and solve this room. But still, no big deal. There is our secret room where we'll fight Super Greed and just GTFO. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to quote Andre 3000. Um, now, we're going to have to do like 30 of those shots. Remember, uh, every time I get hit, I'm fast enough that I can run in and poison him, which is in my best interest, I think. Yeah, just holding Brimstone over him does so little damage, uh, but doing the Brim Snap actually makes it a tangible amount. Remember, he should not hit us very often. Oh, he did there. That's okay. The Poison Touch will help us out just a little bit. And, uh, you know, it might seem like it's not working that quickly. I am in exactly the same boat as you. I feel like this is going very, very slowly. Uh, good. Quickly do some Poison Damage. The Empress card is... I'm saving it at this point, because if we were going to use it, we should have used it earlier. Uh, but the Empress card is going to make the Blue Baby fight hopefully uh, relatively easier than this one. Hopefully, at least. And we'll see what items we get in the chest, too, because we should get to the chest. Uh, he's half dead. We've been hit three or four times. More than I would like, and we can actually see our spirit hearts now, which is uh, a little bit disconcerting. I would love a key, or sorry, a, a trinket or card that allowed us to get to the boss as quickly as possible. Uh, that's not going to happen, though. But maybe we'll get a map or something from the, uh, the chest items. It's not out of the question. What's weird is that we're doing so much damage to minions, it seems but so little uh, to the boss himself. But it's, it's been a relatively quiet fight, at least. Uh, largely because, you know, he only fires, or mostly only fires, when we fire on him. All right, so we're able to clear out the Angel Fetuses very quickly, which is a godsend, don't get me wrong. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. And we're just gonna continue to play strategic. Oh, okay, bad damage, but at least I poisoned Isaac. He should be dead. Oh, he was very close, at least. One more hit, I assume. Oh, okay, a little bit more. There we go. He goes down. Still a little low on health. We will be able to use the nail once once we get to the next floor. And 14 keys means we can pop these open relatively easily. So, first one, Peeper's Eye. Solid. Spider Butt, not interested, probably. Mo, my best friend. Terrible. And Rainbow Baby. All right. Um, Spider Butt actually isn't terrible, but it's sort of terrible. It all depends how quickly I find the boss. If I find the boss really quickly... Um, oh, that was really bad. So the first pop nail. If, if, if I find the boss really quickly and nail's not going to be charged up for it, I might as well come back and get spider butt and use it on the boss because it will slow him. Is that how that works? I, I use spider butt so little that uh, I actually forgot really what it does. But I used to like it. I think it, I named a run after it because it, it saved me uh, from dying on a run. But, you know, we can cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm actually happy to be fighting Gertie. It's kind of a waste because, you know, it's a dead end. I just wanted to see if maybe there was an alternate path to the boss. Uh, that being said, you know, it's basically also a free consumable if she drops one. Because it doesn't matter. It, it, like, this is a, a zero-risk room for us as long as I play my cards right, which so far is so good. One more hit should carry me through here. It's a little scary. We got a bomb out of it. Not really all that I would have hoped for, but that's okay. Gertie Jr., though. This is a, a bigger problem. Bigger fish to fry here. Uh... The more damage I take, the worse it is for me, but the more poison charges I can get on these dudes. Okay, got hit again. Might as well poison them both. Get this fly. Ah, got hit again. Please die to poison. There we go. Um, so that's our boss coming up. Nail's not going to be ready, so we might as well get our uh, spider butt after we finish the next room. No reason not to. Thank you for lining up. Makes my life easier. I think we're going to be able to beat Blue Baby. I obviously there are rooms that I would rather have uh, 
than going up against Gertie Jr. again. At least these guys are not champion Gertie Juniors, which I believe means they have lowered HP. The orange ones seem to have a huge amount of HP. I almost walked right into that damage, but hey, we made it out. Okay, so we're going to get Spider Butt. We could also go through one more room and get our nail up, I guess. But we're already, already going to have great damage as a result of the Empress, so... I'm pretty sure the odds of us losing this are quite low. My best friend sometimes accidentally kills you, or like automatically kills you on some of these fights, so uh, I don't want to take the risk of using that one. Instead, we will just get ready for what I'm hoping is a, a victory parade here. So we'll pop the Empress card quickly. We'll pop Spider Butt, which uh, slows the bejesus out of him. And every Brimstone shot doing substantially more damage than it used to. Okay, this is good news. We still um, want to poison him. We want to take every available precaution and abuse every available advantage that we have. Because it's totally within the realm of possibility that if I play exceptionally badly on this fight, we could lose. Uh, this is not an unlosable combination that I have at my disposal. Uh, it, it's a rare... It, it would be not unprecedented, but bad if I lost. Uh, but it, it's not out of the question. Now, we still have like five more hits that we can take. Uh, permanent Polaroid Invincibility is not going to be an option because we're not at a half-heart interval. We are at full hearts. But, uh, as Blue Baby gets ever closer to death, we're probably five or six shots away from killing him. Uh, and, you know, that gets even easier as we are able to poison him. Now we just got to make sure that we don't die to the angel fetuses because Blue Baby is dead. There's actually a Spirit Heart drop, which is going to make it easier. And there we go. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, another successful run, even though I kind of cheesed the system by restarting like four times until I got the character I wanted. It was fun nonetheless, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.